Hello Rams, I'm Tim McCall here with all the latest and greatest in the world of Rams sports. The CSU football team made headlines this week as two Rams were invited to the NFL Scouting Combine which will take place in Indianapolis in early March. It marks the fourth straight year that Rams have been represented at the Combine. 2015 All-American punter Hayden Hunt is one of the Rams heading to the Combine. His senior year was yet another strong one as Hunt was once again uh, given first team all Mountain Conference honors. Earlier today it was also announced that Rams standout linebacker Kevin Davis will also be participating in the NFL Combine. Davis, who led the Rams um, in tackles each of the last two seasons, was one of only three players in the country this season to record 100 tackles, three sacks, and at least one interception, forced fumble, and fumble recovery. Hunt and Davis marked the 10th and 11th CSU players to participate in the Combine over the last four years. Many of those Rams have gone on to have careers in the NFL, and Hunt and Davis will be looking to do the same. The NFL Draft Combine will be held during the first week of March and will be aired on NFL Network. Make sure to tune in and see if your Rams are able to do enough to merit an opportunity at the next level. In CSU basketball news, the Rams men's basketball team is slated to tip off against the Boise State Broncos in Moby Arena in just a few minutes. This game is going to be one of the most important games for the Rams so far this year. The Rams and the Broncos are currently tied for second place in the Mountain West Conference. And whichever team wins tonight will sit alone right behind Nevada, who sits atop of the Mountain West Conference. These teams have already met once this year, a game in Boise that saw the Broncos escape with a one-point win. The Rams will be looking for revenge as they are led by reigning Mountain West Conference Player of the Week, Gian Clavel. Clavel has been on fire over the last week, averaging 30 points and 10 rebounds a game. He has also been a major contributor on the defensive end, averaging two steals and one and a half blocks per game over the last week. If the Rams plan to keep their hot streak going, they will need Clavel to, to continue to perform at the, his peak level. If he can do that, Boise State will have their hands fulls, full and the Rams will have a great opportunity to secure second place in the Mountain West Conference. The game is minutes from tip-off and airing on ESPN3. Tune in to see if your Rams can get revenge against the Broncos and make up for lost ground behind Nevada. The CSU swimming and diving team is also in action this week as they will take on the University of Northern Colorado tomorrow at the Moby Pool. The swim meet will be a pink out for all of those in attendance. CSU has defeated UNC every year since 2009 and will look to keep that streak alive tomorrow. The Rams will also have another streak on the line as they will be looking to win their third straight home meet. This meet will serve as the Rams' final tune-up before they head to the Mountain West Championships, which will start on February 15th in Texas. If the Rams can indeed defeat the Bears tomorrow, they will grab valuable momentum heading into the postseason. Momentum that could help, bring the Ram, could help the Rams bring a trophy back home to Fort Collins. Well, that's all we have for sports today, but stay tuned. Up next, it's Ryan Chris with all the latest in entertainment. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to getschool.com. 